Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I had a couple questions about how you would set up multiplayer name tags, and I had a little bit of looking on YouTube to see if I could figure out how to do it. And actually, there were no tutorials, or at least no tutorials that covered it, in my opinion, the easy the easy way. Really, this is a simple system, and um, I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to do it. So you have this huge text field that comes up immediately. And I'm gonna set my name to Aaron here, and then have this guy set his name to Bob. And if you look on both screens that are um, on the viewport here, you can see that Bob is running around and Aaron is there. And these two guys are both seeing each other's names correctly. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you've already tried this. And if you have, you've noticed it's pretty hard to get these names on the screen and be accurate. Uh, a lot of the time what happens is this will be Bob here and then he'll see the other guy's name be Bob. And in this case, Aaron will see his name as Aaron and the other guy will see his name as Aaron. It, it See, it doesn't really work. Uh, and the reason is because networking is kind of a finicky thing to learn at first, but I'm going to try to explain how I set this up to work correctly and hopefully you can get it working in your project. If you have any questions though, just let me know in the comments. So obviously I'm in the third person blueprint. It's just the blueprint template. I didn't make any changes to it, except there are a couple things that I did change. Nothing, everything in here is exactly the same, um, except for the third person character itself. And I added two widgets. Uh, the widgets are set name and name tag. Uh, the set name widget looks like this. It's just this gigantic thing that shows up in your face and forces you to type your name in. And then the, the actual name tag itself is right here. So first of all, uh, how do you get the name tag to show up over top of the player's head? Um, in the third person blueprint, I have a name tag right here that shows up above their head. This is just a widget. That's all it is. Uh, the widget shows up in screen space. You could use world space too, but I'm using screen. Uh, and then I have a draw size, which the draw size, uh, the way I'm actually setting that up is I have um, an overlay, which you can use a scale box to keep it in order. And this overlay is just 230 by 55. Uh, this is 230 by 55 as well. So you can get that set up pretty easily just by dropping that component on top of the mesh. So it always exists with the player. Next up is actually setting up the name tag. So like I said, I'm just using a text block and then I'm using a binding. So this binding is bound to name display, which is a um, string variable, which exists right here. No modifications are made to it. It's not replicating. You don't have to replicate this variable because this variable is actually set on the server in another place. So it's it's not replicating within the instance of the widget, if that makes sense, but it is replicating within the instance of this guy. There's no blueprints here. Uh, we can actually close this out now that we know exactly what's going on here. And now we'll go back to our third person character here. So I have a setting name uh, system right here, and this is actually all you need, but I'm going to go back to show you actually how I have this in here. Uh, this is the stuff that comes with the third person blueprint. So you have your movement inputs, your mouse inputs, your gamepad, whatever. Uh, this will probably already exist in your project if you're new to the engine, but the set name right here, this this is where I'm kind of controlling everything. And these functions are ran within this. So we have two events. These are custom events. This one's ran on the server. This one is multicast. Uh, you can see that this is just standard ran on server. This is just the multicast system. And we are going to call these events from within a place where we can set this name to change to variable. So we go back to our widget here where we set our actual name. And at the bottom here, we have a binding. When text is committed, we will do this. This is where the text is actually input. For the commit method, we're going to use on enter. When the text is entered, we're going to remove the widget from the screen. We're going to go to our player controller and we're going to turn the mouse cursor off because we actually turned the mouse cursor on originally so they can click it. We cast to the third person character based on the local player controller. Player index will always be zero because when you're running this event, this event just runs on the client when you're publishing this text up to the server. And then we actually run the command. So we run this event that we have set on our server. The name to change to variable is just whatever text is put in here. So it changes to this name. And when we double click on this, it'll take us into the third person character and literally all it does is it moves that string to this event, and this event is the set name all. Double click on this, this event is ran on the multicast, so it's told to all clients, and it gets the name tag. This variable right here is a reference to our component. So this is actually the widget. We're gonna go into here, get the widget object. So whatever the widget object is, is this. This is actually a class, but whatever is created from this class 
is essentially what this return value is. So it's what exists on the screen. We cast to that, which is just casting to the name tag. And then we're going to set this variable. We set that within all clients. So essentially what you're doing is you're saying, hey, my name is this, and no one cares because no one, they can't listen to you. You're a client. They're never going to listen to you. Clients only listen to the server. So you need to get server authority permission, essentially, to say, hey, server, my name is this. Can you tell everybody else? And then the server confirms that and says yes. Um, so this is where you push your name in. The server processes this, and then the server casts that down to every single other player so that the other players in the world see that your name changed. So that's the setup. Uh, like I said before, if you have any questions, just feel free to put them in the comments. I'll try to help you. I'm sure other people will be trying to help you in the comments too if they can. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.